Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and I am from Instam Lab. Today we will be learning about how to create a very interesting birthday party or any party animation in the Scratch software. For that, we don't need a cat software, uh, cat sprite that is a by default here. So we are going to delete the cat and we will be adding a things that is required for the birthday. So I'll go to food and I'll select a cake first and I'll place it at the little bit down. We can also add a backdrop. If you have different backdrops in your laptop or if you want to add anything from the Google, then you can upload that backdrop also. I'm going to use a party backdrop here. Now, first, I'm going to write a code for the cake. For this, when green flag is clicked, I'll go to control block palette and I'll add a forever. Now, what I want, I want this cake to move left to right. That's it. Yes. So what we're going to do, we will go to motion and we will select move 10 steps. Now let's have a look. Yes, it's going on the right side, but it's not coming back. So for that, we will add one more block that says if on edge bounce. Now let's have a look. Yes, it's coming back, but it's upside down. To make it correct, we have two options. The first option that I prefer, that is in the object section, we have directions. If I click on the direction, the one thing will come and the second option that we have is a set rotation style and we can change the rotation style from here that we want left and right. If I click here, you will find out this is how it's going to work. It's not going to be upside down. Now what I want, I will be adding a next costume. Now let's have a look from the looks. We have a next costume. So why do we need a next costume and how we check how many costume this sprite has. So we will go to costume and we can see from here we have two sprite that is cake A and cake B. The second option, the second method you can say to see how many costume we have, we just pick and drop one block and we just click here. So this is a one costume, click again. This is a second costume. So we will be using this. Now let's have a look. Yes, it's the candles are glowing and blowing off. Now. What we want, we will be adding a sound also. So for the adding a sound, we can write another script or we can just write in the particular script. I prefer to write in another script so that it can continuously play a birthday sound. We already have this birthday sound in the Scratch software. If you want to add any message or any sound by yourself, you can upload your sound as well. Now let's have a look. It's going to play the birthday sound continuously and continuously. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll be adding a one thing in the backdrop. So how do we check whether this is a workspace for backdrop or for sprite? In the workspace or scripting area, you can see there's a shadow of a backdrop. If I click on the cake, then there's a shadow of a cake. So that's how we can identify either we are writing for the sprite or for the backdrop. Now here, what I'm going to do, I'll be adding first when green flag is clicked forever block and a very simple block from the looks. I just want to change the color of the backdrop. So the balloons that you can see in the party's backdrop, it's going to change and let's just make it 25 only. Now It's going to change the color here. Let's do one more interesting thing. Let's write a happy birthday. You have two options for writing that you can just go to letters and you can just select the multiple letters. You have to do it one by one because there is no option for selecting multiple sprite at a time. So what I'm going to do, I'll go to paint section of a sprite and I'll write happy birthday here. So here we will be writing a happy birthday. And you can increase a size according to yourself. So whatever size you want, you can write it and you can just place it from the stage as well as from the paint section. If you want to change any color, you can change any color, whatever color you want. But I'm, what I'm going to do, I'll be changing the color of this happy birthday from the code. So what I'm going to do, I'll write the same code for this. You can just copy and paste it 
I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it over here. Now, this is how I'm going to do and you can change the size, the color of the, let's make it 10. Now let's have a look. If I click here, green flag. So there will be a sound, there will be a birthday. And that's how your animation will work. And you can also upload a couple of pictures of your siblings, your family members, and you can just upload a sprite from a upload sprite object section. That's all for today. Thank you so much.